Hey Vikes, I hope you're having a good day. We have a boys tennis preview for you, and SVTV starts now. Students interested in taking driver's ed should enroll now. Cost is $175. Contact Mr. Tinsley for more information. Monday, April 16th is the deadline for the final payment for students using a payment plan. The third annual Morgan Cotman Birthday Walk will be taking place on Sunday, April 22nd at 6.30 on the track. See the event flyer on Schoology for more information. Students may still attend the Math ACT prep class with Mrs. Majette tonight. Even if, even if you didn't pre-register, just show up at the door and pay $10. The Foreign Exchange Students and the World Language Club will be hosting the second annual Globe Fest during Seminar Friday. Tickets are a dollar and can be purchased by Mrs. Martinez, Mrs. Martinez in W20. All students attending prom, please remember to bring your student IDs to the dance. Seniors, remember to bring your tickets and get in free, but all juniors and outside dates need to pay $20 at the door. If you miss getting your clipper Friday, stop by C2 or the front office and get one. The Topeka Way to Work Employment Program will offer work opportunities for up to 16 Shawnee County residents who will be sophomores, juniors, or seniors during the 2018-2019 school year. The North Snook will be open on Friday, April 20th. Also, Mr. Tinsley is needing one to two more people to work in the school store on the 20th during all of 5th hour. See me if you are interested or contact him on Schoology. Seniors interested in giving a commencement speech, read the Class of 2018 announcement. Now over to your sportsman, Aaron. Hey man, that's a cool car. Thanks. You should enter in the Interact Car Show. What's that? The Interact Car Show is a fundraiser for Meals on Wheels that is being held on Saturday, April 28th from 2 to 7 p.m. There will be multiple contests as well as a raffle. Gates open at 1.30 and the cost to register is $20 for your car. If you pre-register, the cost is only $15 and the show is free for the general public. Thanks, I'll sign up. Oh shoot, better go! Rock and roll, 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 one night only, only here. here. Battle of the Bands, Strategery Part 2. The Nick Brady Experience. Taylor Godmoon, Untamed Mustang. Battle of the Bands, audience chooses the champion. Battle of the Bands, $3 in advance, $5 at the door. Be there, be there, be there. Battle of the Bands. Sponsored by Seaman High School Key Club, charity fundraiser for Ben Beard. for supporting me all throughout my high school career. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing my senior thank you. When do I do mine? Seniors, your thank yous will be filmed starting Monday, April 9th through Friday, April 13th during your government classes. If you are gone during these times, someone will contact you on Schoology, but plan to make up your thank you on Friday, April 13th during seminar. Well, I have to think about what I'm gonna say. Well, I'll help you. The next District Wellness Night is at Logan Elementary on April 17th from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. There will be fun activities for all. Boys Swim Championship Ring Orders are due to Mr. Tuck today. We were able to catch up with the boys tennis to talk about their upcoming season. Let's go check it out. The tennis team has gained many new players this year. We decided to see how they are getting prepared for the season. The team is 
virtually a new team this year. We've lost three guys from last year, so um, having to fill in three on the varsity spot makes it challenging. And so trying to get prepared, we play a round-robin tournament to try and select the top six out of the 20 or 22 guys that we have out for the team. A couple weeks, a couple months before the season, we go out a couple times, like a week maybe, and go and hit around, just kind of get back into it. We are getting prepared for the season by doing a lot of extra conditioning and then trying to practicing a lot. We have practice every day. We start at the end of February and we're just doing some running and extra conditioning and drills and just getting ready. The team is hoping to go back to state as all six varsity members qualified last year. Well, it's always nice to do well at state, league and city. Um, last year we took all six guys to state. so. Um, Matching that again this year is going to be tough, but if we were able to do that, it would be good. And uh, finishing the top two in the city would be a, be a pretty good goal for us. Last year, I was one spot away from all city, and I didn't place the league, so hopefully this year I'll be all city and all league. I want to improve on my serve and uh, learn how to play singles better. To improve on last year's season, I'm hoping to make it to state as I was on JV last year. Although the boys are working hard, they have faced many challenges in getting prepared to play at their meets. Uh, when the season first starts, it's really cold. We missed a few days of practice because of the weather. Um, it's finally gotten nice and uh, we're getting out and playing. But spring break, again, uh, that counts as a little time to miss on the court again. And so just getting out and hitting the ball seems to be our biggest, uh, biggest obstacle right now. Uh, well, we did lose our foreign exchange student, Frederick, and so that'll be hard to find a new singles player who was as good as him. The only thing that's really stopped us from getting prepared this season was uh, rain and the cold because sometimes we can't practice when it's too cold. We faced a lot of challenges mostly with injuries. Uh, I had a broken wrist, another guy just sprained his wrist. Despite the challenges, they hope to improve upon last year's records with the new players that have joined the team. As a team, I hope we can make it to state again, all six of us. That would be an accomplishment and I think maybe winning a couple matches at the state and improving from last year would be nice. Last year we uh, were second as a team in regionals and we had six people qualify for state so I'm hoping that we win our regional this year and then we have some people place at state. Like I said last year was pretty good again all six guys going to state so if we're getting to that we're going to be pretty good. Um, again if uh, the guys that we have out can do what they did last year uh, we got some sophomores coming up playing on varsity and they're going to have to step up and play. So if they do what we think we, they can do, we're going to be okay. Make sure to come out and support the boys tennis team tonight at home for their invitational game. That's all for sports. Now let's go to our meteorologist, Josh Shunkin. Good Wednesday afternoon, Tim. Hope you've been enjoying the nice weather the past few days and the next few days as well because we've unfortunately got big changes once again for the weekend. But perhaps the biggest highlight of the segment today, strong storms, the possibility on Friday. We'll take a closer look in just a minute. But first, here's your weather headlines. Warm through Friday and then very windy and more humid weather through really the next five days. Much cooler, though, for the weekend have the numbers in the five day tonight 54 degrees it's another mild night you might not even need the jacket out the door tomorrow should be partly cloudy skies and then tomorrow a treat repeat 80 degrees sunny skies it's going to be a beautiful day once again for your thursday here's the humidity tracker today was a pretty comfortable day out there but you'll start to notice that increase in humidity for thursday and then friday is actually going to be quite muggy and that's going to be part of the reason that's going to fuel some thunderstorms. Here's a look at the timing of this. Mainly going to be late Friday afternoon into the evening where we're looking at a chance of strong to severe weather. Friday night could be some lingering showers and then Saturday a couple of sprinkles are possible. But I think the main event is on Friday and that's why the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk for our area. But we'll keep you updated if this, if this changes over the next couple of days. Then it's in a yet another snow chance for Saturday night. It's a very small chance, but Saturday evening into the overnight hours, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a few flakes fly. 
And now for your SVTV five day forecast, which shows just how cold it's going to be this weekend. Check this out. 40 degrees for a high on Saturday. North winds as well going to make it feel very cold for your prom festivities. And then Sunday, 45 clouds should gradually clear through the day. And a look at the longer range does show this cool pattern continuing. Although I don't think we have many days left this season that are as cold as this weekend will be. Today in history, it's National Pet Day and National Bookmobile Day. And that is Seaman High School's very own Abbey Music. Now, back to your anchors. That's all we got for today. Have a great day.